Hello YouTube and Facebook, thank you all for joining me on this edition of 5 Minutes with Chris and today is all about the 10 most ridiculous scientific studies. It's an article from time.com and I'll leave the link down below in the description box so you can all go check it out on your own time but in the meantime I want to read you a few of these. I'm not going to read every single one of them but I want to read you all a few and see what your reactions are. I mean I know my reactions are friggin hysterical because I already read these ahead of time some of them and I you know I, I let me put it this way I could not believe that this that they actually spend money on putting this kind of crap together you know what I mean uh, this is so basic some of these that it's it's sickening honestly so without, without further ado let's get started and here's the first one study shows beneficial effect of electric fans in extreme heat and humidity now I mean, this one's pretty basic because when you're hot, you're not going to put a heater on you. I mean, in order to cool down, traditionally what you would do is put a fan on you. I mean, that's just basic. I mean, basic common knowledge right there. I mean, why do we spend all this money on scientific bullshit research for something that I could have told you? I mean, I'm telling you this information for free. I don't, I'm not getting paid for this shit. I mean, really. Then you move on to something like, let's say, here's another one where... A uh, study shows benefit of higher quality screening colonoscopies. Now, what's the difference between a high quality colonoscopy and a lower quality colonoscopy? I mean, what's the difference? I mean, it's still a colonoscopy either way. You know, why, why are we why are we putting these words in front of these these things and all? I, I don't understand it. I really don't. I mean, to me, it's just ridiculous. It's like, you know, these these are so basic. I mean, we're just putting fancy words and all and, and putting different labels on everything. I mean, it's all common knowledge. Now, there's another one on here that says, Holding on to the blues. Depressed individuals may fail to decrease sadness. Well, that's what depression does. You're not happy when you're depressed. You're fucking miserable. I mean, really. I... I know me, for example, I'm depressed, I have depression, severe depress depression, and you know what, I take medicine for it, and you know what, it's not fun, I'm not happy, I mean, most days I don't even want to get out of fucking bed, let alone read articles like this shit, I mean, really, this is ridiculous, you know, people are just so goddamn stupid, it's not even funny, I mean, this, did, why would you even write, why would somebody even take the time to write this, I don't understand it, I really don't. I, th these are all just stupid in my opinion. I mean, you go, f there's another one on here that says older workers bring valuable knowledge to the job. That's why they're old. They have more experience. They've been, you know, around longer. They've, they've, th old people are wise. They're supposed to have wisdom. You know, now, not every old person I know has wisdom. In fact, a lot of them barely have their marbles, let alone wisdom. But, you know, this is, this is basic again. It's all basic. I mean, what is it with this shit? I mean, old people are wise. That's why they do better at jobs, because they know what's going on. They know what to do, how to do it, and, you know, how to get other people involved. That's what it's all about. I mean, it's, it's very simple. You know, there's more about, like, for example, being homeless is bad for your health. Well, I didn't think sleeping on the street was exactly good for you. I mean, really, it's it's not exactly a a sanitary choice of, of lifestyle, I would say. I mean, really, the it, it, it's just ridiculous, you know? All this shit is just so basic. I mean, I, I can't believe any of this, honestly. Statistical analysis reveals Mexican drug war increased homicide rates. Well, obviously, I mean, a war. Drug war, that's violence, you know? You're not going to get into a pillow fight with these people. You're going to get shot to death. You're going to get stabbed to death. I mean, you're not having pillow fights. I mean, come on now. Like, this is just bullshit. This is bullshit right here. I mean, honestly, you know, scientists discover a difference between the sexes. Male and female. There, You don't get a choice. There is no both. You know, forget about transgenderism. There, as far as I'm concerned, there's no hundred and twelve genders. That's for that's for goddamn sure. There is no hundred and twelve genders. There's only two. You don't get a say in which one you are. Whatever you're born as, that's what that's what you're supposed to stay as. And you know what? Honestly, I'm done with this shit. I've had enough of this shit. 
I've had enough of hearing these stupid things. I'm sick of it. everything about this article, you know? I just thought it would be funny to come on here and read it to you people. So with all this being said, I thank you all for joining me. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. Again, I'll post the link in the description down below so you can read the whole article for yourselves. And until the meantime, everybody, until I see you all again, I thank you all for joining me and goodbye, everybody. I love you all.